about titles, what about this? But I love Gogo. That's that I've got, you know, an inclination to. When I'm doctor, traditional doctor, traditional health practitioner, sango, mango, ma, that I'm comfortable with it. Yeah, you know, I think it's. It, I think when we say doctor, sometimes we can tend to limit it to the physical element. But mm. when we, we, we city sangoma, it speaks to, you know, the core of the spiritual elements that which we work in, you know. So that's that's why sometimes we shy away from the title that day. Because, mm. mm -hmm. you know, doctors can be limiting. But sangoma, it's a bad thing that really requires one to work with body, mind and spirit. Right. Let's start with that the title, yeah. right? Because if you if if you if you're one of those people that a lot of people in South Africa don't want to understand Ubungo. Yes. Um some are just, you know, they, they really just don't know. Why do we call you Ukoko? Um, I think um cool. Um cool. Mm. So if you would have you look at whom um I have birth as a human, uh, the ancestor that I've birthed because this ancestor still has some healing you know, to be done for others, but for themselves as well. Those um, most dominant in me are males. Mm. You know, it's masculine energies. And then therefore I would be referred to, mebang biza wetlos, maso tumkul kechan. Yabon, no ma u umkul spanban. So ika malam lesos umkul kechan. So that's what I'm referred to. And then Gogo Dineo and Tanzi feels like it's smooth. You know, so that's how I came to be Gogo. But because people in, in, in ancestral world in the spirit world there's no gender mm -hmm. there's no male or female it's energy that's vibrating so the energy that's vibrating for me right now you know through my work it's mostly masculine energy so i'm very directive i'm orderly you know I, i've got leadership and it it, it it didn't surprise me as well it kind of made sense and it made me be at ease with myself rather than fighting myself and trying to box myself within human boxes right. and it allowed me to just be myself mm. and and tonight's uh, conversation actually looks at how has Ubungoma become fashionable currently? Yeah. Yeah. Um, would you advocate, uh, perhaps let's, let's just start from the beginning and, and ask what is an ancestral call? Can it be a career? I think for me, I want to speak from my own experiences. I say I'm a teacher from what I've experienced. I don't teach from what you know, I think I know. It's through my own experiences that I know. And my own experiences might differ from other a healer's experiences so i don't speak as an expert from this platform i think for me you know i've when it was Nami said when they said you know enough with this other work and this is the work you need to you know immense yourself in it in order for it to be done to its fullest potential mm -hmm. then i left everything else and i became a full-time practicing healer and I also don't say I'm just a Sangoma because I'm trained in other healing modal uh, modalities. So I'm a spiritual healer, you know, and part of it is being Umgoma. Mm. So uh, some people, yes, they can, you know, you, um, I know that through my healing work, everything is taken care of. And Abagiti, my ancestor said to me, live it and we'll take care of you. And I've been taken care of since. So whether you want to call it a career, whether you want, I see it as my call. Hmm. This is what I'm here to do. And each and every one of us are called to serve, you know, to make something well that is not well within this world. That's why each and every one of us are here in this time and this moment. Yeah. Uktogosis. Mm. Why do we do that? And 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 I'm, I hope that, I wish that people could see what we were doing, right? You, you're you cupping your hands and clapping. Yeah. And, and you're togosis. And, and I've heard it said, what is you don't greet yeah. no most miss Chosisa, we don't greet we we're recognizing those you are working with mm. so message to mm. you know we don't even say to we just normally say to is that i see you and i see those who you walk with even though physically i'm not seeing them but in in spirit they are with you mm. so it's a recognition that you you're not only this physical but you're a spiritual that walks with an army of ancestors mm. And in a way, you, you had begun explaining this. Um, what does an ancestral call qualify you to do? Yeah, I think um, we need to be clear that I said earlier on, all of us are called. And we are called by those who have lived before us to come make the world something better. And all of us who are called does not necessarily mean all of us have to initiate some as and those who have initiated mm. doesn't mean that all of us have to be practicing healers. Mm. And those of us who are practicing healers does not necessarily mean that we have to train other healers. So we need to be clear when we are called, what exactly are you called 
to do. Some of us initiate to make well within ourselves and within our family systems only because we need those in Klambe that is not well rested and because we have forgotten who we are and our own indigenous cultural practices therefore the the ancestor has become it was the lp life that needs to be recognized through initiation so we need to be very clear people you know that's why people think it's trending because everybody is told guti yeah but or you've got an ancestor people are running towards initiation it doesn't work that way because it just once you are called just to fix things it does not take it does not need to take the process of going through so people have to